Hello my friends and welcome back to another video where today I'm joined by my good friend Layman. Hello my friend. Hello. Thank, he, thanks a lot for having me. Probably my friend and he's joining me on today's video as we're going to be looking at unexpected characters that we could see in the upcoming Amazon Lord Rings TV series. Of course none of this is confirmed, this is just speculation. And the first, and what's the first character we're going to be starting off with today, Layman? uh yeah we were thinking of glorfindel and um yeah first of all uh glorfindel that's not very hard to pronounce but uh i, I do apologize for mispronouncing any any talking name as for my english if, if that's not well understood it's not my native tongue and um yeah so with uh we, we, we were talking about uh, or we were thinking about calling this unexpected parts and, and thus referencing both famous chapters of The Hobbit and The, and the Lord of the Rings uh, and sort of have this uh, short uh, series, if, if we make it a series. Yeah, um, series would be great, yeah. Yeah, about, about characters that are not obviously... That are, that are not so obvious to to appear in the in the show. Not like we pretty much know that Galadriel, Elrond, and and Sauron uh, are probably Cal Calabrimbo. Exactly. They're gonna be there. Yeah, they're they're gonna be there for sure. But uh, with with a character like Glorfindel, uh, we're not certain at all. So shall I? Yeah. Let, let's let's talk about oh, him a little Lofin bit, Dana. right? Yeah. Yes. Let's. Um, I'm not really that that great on YouTube or something. I'm. Uh, I don't spend much time watching YouTube. But when when I browsed through it uh, the other day through some channels like like yours, uh, some talking law oriented uh, channels, uh, I suddenly saw quite a few. Uh, with Glorfindel as, as main episodes, you know, uh, just just concentrating on him. So I think we can safely say that he is one of the fan favorites, uh, or yeah, at least the fan. Doubt. Yeah, yeah, at least the fans of uh, of the books, right? Uh, <laughs> because mm -hmm. he he's not in the movies, and uh, as far as I know, he's not in any screen adaptation, not even that Bakshi or, I'm sorry, I probably mispronounced him as well. And um, so this is, this, this is quite interesting. Uh, but wh whenever, yeah, whenever I talk to someone who really has delved a little deeper into, into talking, talking, he, he usually finds him really interesting and uh, often it's one of his favorite characters like like mine but uh often when when glorfindel is discussed uh, on a forum or something there will be a guy or two who says what what has he done he really hasn't done that much he's not that important and you you can see that because because talking really Talking really doesn't doesn't write that much about him, right? Uh, he's on he features in in one uh, chapter basically in uh, in the Lord of the Rings, and uh, that's not that much. Exactly. So so let's let let's see what what he has done, right? Let's just go yeah. through that very quickly, just so that people. Who, who only know the movies, which we can, we can assume that this, they're going to be, what, what, what do you think? Uh, yeah, that'd from be, those, yeah, they're, be probably, they're probably going to be a majority of those watching the show that, that have not read the books. I, I, I'd say. Yeah, that, excluding that only the, like the devout Tolkien fans, like us, for yeah. example, probably some people watching this video or most of them, but at this point yeah not every but, probably most people who watch this channel are probably more Tolkien orientated of, of course but uh, but um, as far as the show as the upcoming uh, Amazon on Prime yeah well, well, a lot on Prime sorry as the upcoming Amazon 
uh, Lord of the Rings show is concerned, um, I don't think many, or I don't think the majority will have e even read the books. What do you think? Yeah, I really agree with you with that. So go ahead and tell us about him. Just, 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 just a little bit, and of course, I, I'm not, I'm not a big expert. Let's, let's just introduce him a little bit. So he was born. He's one of the Noldor or Noldoli, uh, and he was born during the during the two trees, right? So he's born before the first age. So the the show that we are talking about takes place in the second age. Uh, yep. which is actually which is actually the longest and Glorfindel is is so old that he's actually born before the first age uh, during the light of the two trees but let's not go into that so much um, he uh, he moved to uh, middle earth with with the other Noldor right during the flight of the Noldor or the um, uh, rebellion of the Noldor, and uh, he spent most of the time in Gondolin because he was close to the king of Gondolin, uh, whose name was Turgon. Uh, I think some some uh, materials even mentioned that he was one of his kin, but uh, I don't think that's very. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't go much into that and one of his big deeds and of course now now th there will be spoilers there will be spoilers throughout this this whole thing uh the first big thing that he did was that after the destruction of gondolin which was this last great uh city or stronghold or kingdom of uh of the Noldor elves in, in Middle Earth during the first aid, so before the show, he and uh, and some others they they escape from from Gondolin over the the valley of uh, Tumladin, and uh, then in in the mountains, uh, I think that's called Kirithoranath. I think that is one of the one of the passes there. Yeah, yeah the the Ambu Am I right in that? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't have I don't have it in. in yeah, that was really good knowledge. Yeah, that she is. And uh, they're ambushed by by orcs, and uh, and and a Balrog, and that that's where Glorfindel he he faces off this Balrog and uh, basically kills him, but but they both fall down. So. That's very not not the actual duel, but the outcome of the duel is very reminiscent to what happens during the the uh, these the escape from Moria uh, and the uh, and the duel between Gandalf and and the Balrog of Moria. So they they both both they both fall down, but by this heroic deed. Glorfindel, he sa he saves uh, Tuor and Idril and their little son, uh, Erendil, who in turn saves uh, Middle Earth. One could one could one could say yeah. so. That, that's one of that's one of his really major deeds. So, from a so, character like Glorfindel, you can see so much experience, and he is quite. And he's been through so much conflict and and going into the second age along with like Gil Galad and Galadriel, he would be one of the more experienced characters. And if you saw him in the show, we'd probably be able to be able to portray his experience. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And this is one of the one of the genius of uh this is really the genius of talking that he can create such amazing characters uh within limited you know space uh, in the book or in his legendarium you know just in throughout these few notes almost the, the, this this passage this this duel between Glorfindel and 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 Balrog it's it's an unfinished it's mostly describing the unfinished tales I believe it, it's uh it's probably mentioned in the Silmar Silmarillion 
but it's uh, described in in a little more detail in the unfinished tales. Yeah, and so one, one of, thing I'd like yeah. to um, talk about now. So sure. that is Glorfindel's um, past, and we've seen mm. him with the Balrog in Gondolin being able to defend and help save people like Idril and, of course, Elendil. Mm. But now we need. Mm. Now we need to be able to put this together and see how could he fit in the second age show. As from what we know is yeah. that yeah. we know that yeah. apparently Thomas Shippey said that Amazon cannot contradict Tolkien's works. But yes. having yes. Glorfindel in the show is technically not contradicting Tolkien's works as he was in the second mm. age. Maybe... Not, 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 not at all. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. So, I was uh, thinking maybe to not the extent that maybe it would be contradicting if it works. Let's say, for example, if Glorfindel was like took one of the elven rings of power, that would be contradicting uh, Tolkien's works. But having him actually in the Second Age wouldn't actually contradict it as that is canon that he was no. part of the Second Age. He was uh, in the end. <laughs> as, as Tolkien was, um, you know, adding... Oh, as he like as he li liked to say, he was discovering the stuff until basically until his death. He basically his final version was that Glorfindel reembodied. He arrived back to Middle Earth in the year sixteen hundred of the Second Age, and this is very significant because the year sixteen hundred is actually the very year when Sauron forges the One Ring, right? So, and this is this is basically what the show, uh, or at least the beginning of the show, the first season or seasons, uh, will be about the forging of the of the rings of power. So, and to uh, and Glorfindel is meant to arrive from Valinor as the only, basically the only elf who. who has ever done that, uh, who ever came back from Mandos with the new body, uh, he arrives back to Middle Earth at the, the year 1600. So I think that that could be really, really interesting to, to have him as sort of uh, one character who could turn the tide in the proceedings. What do you think? Yeah, because it actually fits perfectly, because as for a lot of us, what we've been discussing on this channel, and of course, on the subreddit of the Lord Rings and Prime, that the show could be focusing around the forging of the rings, and that era, yeah. era of the Second Age, and Glorfindel coming back from Valinor, and as you said, in 1600, the Second Age could fit in perfectly with the show, and Amazon could use this to their advantage and capitalize on this by now it's just a question of would they do it would they put a fan favorite book character back into the show and this this yeah so, this, this is a this is a this is a good question because you know i really i very much hope he will be there but uh if i should place a bet i i still think he won't <laughs> yeah. because you know we have we have but you know close i i would have to think twice uh we have galadriel we have we have calabrimbo we have elrond we have gil galad we we probably yeah have uh kia done so there are there are elven characters that are going to be there for sure but what uh, thing i'd like other... to no but what thing i'd like to put in quickly is that the argument yeah. against having glorfindel in the show is that does he actually add anything to the plot that could actually move it forward? And would it be actually advantageous for Amazon to actually implement him? Because would he maybe hinder the plot? Would he affect the plot? Because that could be a problem. But then on the other hand, the argument back to that is that we know Amazon might be creating some new characters. So if they're yes. creating new characters, why can't they implement Glorfindel as exactly. uh, that is a Tolkien character? So there are yeah. two ways to this, and we just have to wait to see what Amazon actually do. So mm -hmm. continue, my friend. The, no, no, yeah, for sure. That, this is exactly what I wanted to wanted to say. Uh, on one hand, yeah, they will um, create new characters. Um, the thing that, yeah, the, when they create new characters, they probably want to uh, make them 
they, they want to create characters from other cultures or other races. So uh, let's say dwarves or even, you know, uh, uh, the, the race that la later uh, becomes the Dunlandings. Uh, so the pe people of Holleth or how they were called. Uh, um, yeah, they, they, they were, so I, I'm not very sure if they, they, they are going to go for more elves because we already have that many. But for the dramatic purposes, I think Glorfindel really is a, is a good character to, to stem the tide in the beginning of the war where, when Sauron, you know, after he sacks Aragion and uh, when, he, when he starts pushing elves you know back to the uh, yeah, north and when he starts invading uh Eriador. so i think there will be there will be a good time for glorfindel to arrive maybe it doesn't even have to be 1600 he can uh arrive uh during the war so a little bit later on uh we don't know if the, if the timeline is going to be exactly as it is as, as it is in the appendices so yeah but i uh i quickly want to mention the other two great deeds that glorfindel did and um and through those uh come to the nazgul uh, is is that fine yes yeah, fine so the nazgul are another set of well not even characters that we could see in the show so go ahead yeah Lehman, and explain. yes yes because you know just to continue that the, the other famous deed, and the second time that uh, Glorfindel saves Middle Earth, basically, is when he helps Frodo reach Rivendell and uh, basically uh, saves him and others uh, from the Nazgul, right? Uh, in in thirteen in um, three thousand eighteen. Uh, so that that's where, when he meets Nazgul. But uh, may, perhaps the more interesting. Uh, episode uh, is uh, is earlier in the third age in in 1975 and that's when uh, that's during the battle of fornost where the witch king after he had um defeated um uh, the kingdom of arnor or basically arthurdan which was uh, which was basically what 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 had um, remained of of arnor uh Gondor, which is the southern kingdom, uh, finally s s sends help north, and uh, the prince Erno, uh, together with with Círdan, they 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 uh, they fight uh, the witch king uh, in the in the battle of Thornost, and Glorfindel he brings his own army, or he leads the army uh from rivendell and uh they they utterly annihilate uh the the um the army of angmar so the witch king's army is destroyed um but the witch king survives and um it, there is this uh, interesting interaction with with with, with prince anu uh witch king charges at him and and wants to face him, but his horse uh, can't can't stand it, and uh, and uh, and flees. And then Glorfindel uh, enters the uh, the battle or the, this this uh, particular moment, and um, and uh, then the witch king actually flees. And then comes the famous prophecy of of yep. Glorfindel. Uh, where he says, uh, where, where he tells Anu uh, not to pursue him because uh, far off yet uh, is is uh, his doom, and not by the hand of uh, of men will he fall. And um, <laughs> which of course then comes into fruition during the battle during the battle of uh, of Pelennor Fields. Um, what I find interesting is that if they decide to have both the Glorfindel and the Witch King. And at one point, they will come 
to the last alliance which is of course many seasons off they, they, it might not be even the, in the original show it may be in the spin off you know in the battle of the uh, of the last alliance there is this again spoilers uh, there is this big uh, face off between sauron and um and elendil and gilgalad right but you you might need another villains right uh, you might you might need other villains besides besides sauron and if you have the witch king there you might actually have glorfindel facing him right and and uh, after he does not defeat him but uh, perhaps finds out that it, it's it's not possible to to defeat him just like that he might <laughs> sort of gain yeah, this yeah. knowledge that that's a good that idea. leads him in, that leads him to this prophecy later on. Of course, the, it's a bit far fetched, but I just, I just, <laughs> I just, I just find it interesting that you know, if you, you, I think you need more than than one villain, and I think this really speaks volumes for including the Witch King. Um, yeah, because... as we know, the Nazgul. Yeah, because I want to point yeah. one point I want to touch back on to what you said was that seeing that if the Nazgul or the Witch King especially was going to be in the mm-hmm. show, it would yeah. be a prime opportunity to pick, to be able to finally have Glorfindel in an adaptation. Because if mm-hmm. Amazon go down the route of seeing oh the men got corrupted by the rings, or you know some of them were good lords and kings within Numenor, and see them get corrupted mm-hmm. to a point where they do become the ring wraiths and then we see the witch king etc yes and being able to see glorfindel maybe implemented and get this backstory for maybe richard sh- sh- foreshadow later on in the book scene because as we even know that when yeah. um yeah. glorfindel was saving frodo he was almost taunting the nazgul and the witch king because if i remember mm-hmm. there were bells on was it on the on the hooves yes. of his yes of his horse, yes on, just taunting on him. Asphaloth, yeah yes yeah, so, yes is it's a prime point to be able to maybe in this because this could all be a subplot because all just be put to the side because yeah. the witch king could be a like a second or third um villain but like recurring villain but we could also have glorfindel not as a main character but as a recurring character of course because uh, he's of such because he doesn't need as much character development compared Indeed. to for example Arrow and Gladius. So we don't need to focus the story as much on him, but when we do come to him and being able to see this epic, just not yeah. even do like even mental duel throughout the show between Glorfindel and the Witch King, it'll be int- it'll be amazing. So well the point that I'm trying to get away from this is that if we are going to see the Witch King, it'll be really, really interesting to see Glorfindel in there as well and seeing the interactions between them two and how this could grow yeah. throughout the seasons of the show so yeah, yeah. that's an interesting thought but back to you and uh, of course we don't know if one day that they they won't decide to to redo the the lord of the rings as well or, or the uh the third age you know uh, so it, it it may all you know work out uh if amazon in their favor. yeah if amazon we do remake the lord of the rings if they be able to build in their first tv series a yeah. feud between the backstory between the witch king and glorfindel they may be in the lord of the rings if they remake it how many knows maybe 20 30 years later you will be able to mm-hmm. see this um this feud which would be quite interesting but we're yeah. straying away a bit so moving back to the point out of seeing Glorfindel and the Witch King. So, do you have any yeah, more yeah. thoughts? Yeah, uh, just a little bit on, on the on the Witch King himself. Of course, um, uh, from talking, we we know that the Ring Rays they they don't appear until uh, I think it's twenty two fifty one something, uh, which is much uh, of the Second Age, which is which is much later than um, than uh, what uh, the probably the the beginning of the of the show is going to be however uh the nine rings the nine rings are given to the future ring race to, to these nine uh characters which are uh, known to be uh great sorcerers or or even kings and we know three of them are Numenorians. That 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 that's important. One is mo- most likely an Easterling, Carmel, the only one who has a name. So the Nine Rings 
are given to them in the year 1697, which is the year when when the kingdom of Eregion is sacked by, by Sauron. So immediately after Sauron destroys Eregion, uh, he gives the, the, these nine rings to these nine men. So I think it would be a, an opportunity missed to, to not include that. And of course, we, we, can, we can grow with these characters, or at least one or two. And I would, I would assume that the Witch King could be a Numenorian. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have to be evil from the beginning. He, th there might be some conflict, but I think it's just a, it's just a good idea to, to have him there in, in the show. And that there is someone who actually we know who gets the the ring uh one of the nine in the year 1697 because i i think uh they have to show that that yep. that's Sauron actually yeah as that is why part one of today's video is on glorfindel and the nazgul especially the witch king as they both the inclusion of one may uh, affect the other because if we are going to yeah. see the witch king we'll be really interested to see glorfindel then vice versa yeah. as well and there could be a real prime opportunity from uh amazon's lord rings on prime to implement this so my friend yeah, any as, as, final thoughts yeah as, as as you said uh with, with glorfindel you don't you don't need that much character development no. you know because if you if, if you see someone who <laughs> who has just returned from Balinor, uh, you know that he, you know he had fought and killed Balrog. You know you you basically know enough, and um, so uh, yeah, I I think that that that's why he definitely he doesn't have to be he doesn't have to be uh, a main character at all, but uh, just as he is in the Lord of the Rings, you know he's there for 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 one chapter, then he appears a little bit more during the the council of Aaron so you know how important he is but um, he doesn't yeah he doesn't feature that much yeah. yeah and just to put a little spanner in the works we know that yeah. Simon Morales or Morales he's mm -hmm. coming as a returning a returning character in the show so not a main character but a mm -hmm. like returning one so maybe very far chance where he could be playing <laughs> Glorfindel who knows but unless you have but, any final thoughts to wrap up, I don't. Yeah, uh, I I can't think of anything else. Probably, how could how could we? What what what's your guess? If 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 you had to place the bet uh, on, on 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 Glorfindel and the Nazgul, will will they be there or not? I believe that we will probably see the the Nazgul or the formation of the Nazgul and potentially the Witch King. But I think Glorfindel will. If I had to put a bet on it at the moment, I I quite doubt it, which is quite a shame <laughs> as we are again not seeing Glorfindel mm -hmm. in the adaptation of Tolkien's works. But mm -hmm. see the Nazgul and the Witch King would probably be great. Hopefully someone hears us and will try to prove us wrong, right? <laughs> Which is totally unlikely. But yeah, yeah, that would be Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for joining me, Lehman, for episode Thanks a lot. one of our hopefully this brand new series that we're doing is a really, really interesting talk about two characters that we could see in the show. And in the comments below, please let me know what's your opinions on this. Do you think we'll be seeing either of them? Do you think we'll be seeing the Witch King or Glorfindel? Just let us know. And again, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, and thank you to the audience for watching. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Until the next video, my friends, goodbye.